Daytime is prime time on WSNS Channel 44, Chicago. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I got another series for you in my Stratomatic Chicago White Sox pre-play season. This time we're playing the Kansas City Royals for three games. I will turn down the sound and we'll get right to it since I have a computer um, issue with um, time that it'll record. The RAM, the available RAM is down, so I have to uh, play one game at a time and put the whole video together after that. So we will get right into things. And we're in Chicago. Kansas City's coming to visit us. And Merrifield's up, and he will be out. Uh, ground ball. Keichel on the mound for us against, I believe, Keller in this game. And Modesty just misses getting a single. And that brings up Solaire. And Solaire is going to ground out, hopefully, the second. But we'll see Lurie Garcia. Nope, it's a base hit. So Solaire's on by a hit. Dozier is up, and he strikes out right between two big potential hits. Thank you. Timmy A. Tim Anderson leading off for us in the bottom of the first. He's going to ground out. Louis Rabat is going to ground out to second, maybe. And he does. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada hits a ground ball to the pitcher, Keller. And he's out. So we go to the top of the second. Kansas City batting with Perez up, and he's going to strike out. Keichel gets him. He will as soon as this fly ball comes back. Or foul ball. So strike out of Perez. That brings up Gordon. Gordon is going to hit a single, it looks like. And uh, he's at 40%, so we'll let him just stay there. And that's going to be a ground ball B by Nicky Lopez. So he's aboard. And that brings up Ryan McBroom, and he walks. Two on, with two down here in the second. And Brett Phillips up, and he strikes out. Encarnacion, and this is later in the season two, and I set up the pitching rotations for every team, and I intentionally set them up to avoid overuse or mass overuse of pitchers on the other teams. So, um, you know, as we get later in the season, you'll see their main starters start to play less. And there's a grand doll single, one to five, and he gets a one. You'll see their, the other team starters start to play less. And uh, there's going to be a Jimenez home run. So we got a two-run lead here. And with the other teams playing less, or playing their their best, their best better pitchers less, um, that should be an advantage for us because we've get, mainly we've only got our main starters. And I've played the fringe starting pitchers already throughout the season. So we shouldn't have mass overuse as um, Mayfield, Merrifield hits a double into the gap. Mondesi up with no outs, and he is going to hit a single. That may score Merrifield. It doesn't, though, and now Soler is up, and he walks to load the bases. Keuchel's in a little trouble here. Still has the do-nothing lead, but Dozier up, and that's going to be a ground ball C that's going to score a run. But there's one out, and Perez up at the plate, and he is going to hit a ground ball that's going to score a run, but it could have been worse if I had had the infield in. It would have been, it was a ground ball double or, you know, whatever. So it would have been a single if I'd had the infield in. So he just ties the game, and we got Lurie up, and Lurie is ripping a single. Just a single. Could have had, could have been a triple. Could have been, but it wasn't. That brings up Timmy A, and he's going to hit a ground ball B, so he'll be aboard. But 
Keller's a negative four watch, so a negative four hold. And that's going to be a ground ball into a double play by Lewis Robert. So we're tied at two. We go to the top of the fourth. Nicky Lopez up. And Nicky Lopez, is he? Is that really a home run? It looks like it's really going to be a home run. Who knew that Nicky Lopez had home run power? I didn't. So he gives the Royals a 3-2 lead, and then McBroom walks just like he did the first time up. So he's 0 for 0 with two walks. And then the walk master, Brian, uh, uh, Brett Phillips, hits into a double play. Thank you. So they got two down in Merrifield up, and he grounds out. But they did take the lead on a Nicky Lopez, of all people, home run. So we've got Moncada up at the plate now trying to even it up. There's a third base for Dozier. And he threw it away. Thank you. And runner at second instead of just first. And then Encarnacion hits a ground ball for his base C. In real life, Encarnacion having a terrible year. Abreu is up. And Abreu is going to hit a single. And knock in the tying run. Not real impressed with Encarnacion's actual year that he's having. And Grandal hits into a ground ball uh, out. And Enzi, no, he, oh, okay. I, that, that was only the second out. I thought there was two. But Jimenez does do that. He hits into a ground ball at Enzi inning. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Strikeout for Mondesi. It's a tie game here, three all between us and Kansas City. And Solaire is going to ground out. And that brings up Dozier. And Dozier will fly out. And again, I have a RAM problem with the computer, so I can only play one game at a time, save it, and then put the entire thing together. So hopefully we don't go to extra innings because I don't know if I have the RAM to play too many extra innings. That was a first base X, and uh, pitcher is injured on the play, but nothing happens advantageously for us. But there's a single by Lurie Garcia, single one to five, and he rips it. Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson, you're looking for that big hit, and now we hit it to Nicky Lopez. And I guess he got it through the hole, though. Yes, runners are at the corners with only one out and Lewis Robert up. And, of course, it stopped for a second on a hit, but then it moved to the strikeout. Moncada up, and Moncada striking out. So Lovelady is now on for the injured Keller. And Perez is going to ground out. You would think we could get to Lovelady. I mean, I wouldn't think that. Um, Alex Gordon, first base X, that's a Abreu, probably not going to make the play. He doesn't, it's a base hit. Okay, our pitcher was injured on that, but he's going to be all right. And then Nicky Lopez is up. That was a pass ball, so Nicky Lopez still up. Ground ball first again. This time looks like Abreu is making the play. And he does. There is two down with McBroom up. And McBroom strikes out. So Keuchel gets us out of a bit of a jam there. And Canarcion leading off for us in the bottom of the sixth in a tie game. And he walks. Abreu up. And Abreu is going to hit us triple. Abreu is going to hit a triple. Are they going to really give him the triple? Because he doesn't hit triples. But they do. They give him the triple. He knocks in the run, and he's 90 feet away with no outs. And that's going to be a ground ball or a fly ball B by Grand Dahl. So that'll score a brave. And we've got a two-run lead here. And Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to hit a home run of his own. And we've got a now three-run lead. Loving it. And so that brings up Mazzara. Now I'm not worried. Not really. And that's a strikeout. There's two out. And Garcia up. And Garcia strikes out. 
So now I am going to go to the bullpen, or the, uh, not the bullpen, but I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go and make some defensive replacements. Madrigal will replace Garcia at second. And Engel will replace Mazzara in right. And Brett Phillips up, and he's going to strike out. Seventh, maybe the last inning for Keuchel. I don't know, though. I'm really all for letting pitchers go as long as they can possibly go. Line out to third base for Merrifield. Two down here in the Kansas City seventh. And that is going to be a home run by Mondesi. Still, Kansas City's down by two. And so Larry is up. And he strikes out. And they didn't say that um, Keiko's tired, so I may send him out there for the eighth. Anderson is going to be out, however, leading off the bottom of the seventh for us. We got a walk by Lewis Roberts. Negative six, lovely. So that guy can really hold people on. Strikeout for Moncada, so two down with a man at first. And Canarcion is going to walk. So we got two aboard with two down and a Abreu. It's all on Abreu's shoulders, and he hits a single double asterisk at least. And it was almost a triple. Almost another triple. But he's going to knock in a run. So Richard Lovelady is tired. I have no doubt. Grandall up, and he's batting against McCarthy now, and he strikes out. So we got the three-run lead back. And uh, as soon as we're out of the inning, for sure. And then uh, I'm going to send uh, I'm going to send Keiko back out there. Because our bullpen in this game is really shakier than the actual Chicago. Dozier walks and Perez is up. And that's going to be a double play. And then that brings up Gordon. And Gordon strikes out. So he may actually be able to pitch the entire game. Well, he's tired. But I may send him out there anyway. Even tired. Ground ball for Jimenez. Angle up. Angle with an out. And that brings up Madrigal. And Madrigal strikes out. I'm going to send out Keigel to try to get out of the game. To try to end the game. And he brings up Dini to pinch hit. There's a crazy idea, and uh, it works because Deeney gets a single. McBroom is up, and that's going to be a catcher card, Grand Dahl. And he is out. So Brett Phillips is now up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball to second. I just put Madrigal out there. And that's it. Double play, and we win the game. Here's the box score for you. You're scoring at home. We got the White Sox at 66 and 57 after that big win. Keuchel going nine and allowing only four runs and going the distance. So that's it for me for the first game of the series, but we will be doing the second game. Wait for that. And we're back. See how quickly that happened? So we're here for game two, having beaten Kansas City in game one of the series. We will play the day to get through the other games. And this is going to be Giolito against Jake Junis. And again, let's get right to it. We've got a limited uh, Ram. So we got Merrifield up at the plate against the Giolito man, and he strikes out Merrifield. For the first out of the top of the first, Monsey up for Kansas City. He's going to hit a fly ball.
And that was Solaire coming up next, and he strikes out. So that's a nice, clean inning for Giolito with Timmy Anderson up for us. And flying out in the uh, leading off the bottom of the first for the White Sox. Lewis Robert is going to be out, it would appear. And that brings up Jimenez. And he's going to be out. So, no runs for us. Hunter Dozier up, leading out the second and doing it with a triple. So, that's uh, that stings a little bit. Ryan O'Hearn up. And he strikes out. Brings up Matt, uh, Mikhail Franco, and he's going to hit a first uh, ground ball first base B. Let's see if we stop. We did stop the run from scoring on it. But Gordon hits a single and knocks in the run. We almost got out of that inning without even allowing a run, even though there was a leadoff triple. But uh, Valoria hits a fly ball. And like I said, it's getting late in the season, so you're going to see all these other guys that you never saw before. And Canarcion, that won't happen with me too much, though, because I have been playing people, fringe players, throughout the season. And did a brave jacket, did he? Come on. No, he hit a double, though. I'll take it. Mazzara up, and he hits a ground ball shortstop. So there's two down, and Grandall up the plate, and he's out. So I thought maybe we could have tied the game there, but Bray just came short of a home run. Nicky Lopez, the fire in our face, he walks. Merrifield's up, and Merrifield's going to hit a foul out to first base. Mondesi up, and Mondesi hitting a ground ball C, so that's going to move Lopez to second, but there's two down. Two down. And Solaire up, and Solaire striking out. The nice thing about the lack of RAM is that I know I've got enough to do a game, so I can always get a game. In fact, I had 5.8 gigabytes or 5.18 gigabytes or 5.24 gigabytes before the last game. And Anderson is up. With two down, and he hits a homer. Nice. And then um, I checked it after I did the game, but the game was still in Screencast O Matic. And with the game still in Screencast O Matic, I still had like 3.2 something or something like that uh, RAM, gigabytes of RAM left. So here comes Kansas City. We got a tie game top of the fourth with Kansas City leading off with Dozier. And that's going to be a ground ball to Cuthbert. Now, see, Cuthbert is in because, like I say, guys are getting tired now. But anyway, to get back to my Ram story, because I know you're interested. Um, there was 3.2 something gigabytes of RAM after I had played the first game and it was still in screencast o -Matic. Now, for whatever reason, when I take the game out of screencast o -Matic and store it to my hard drive and then delete it in screencast o -Matic, that frees up a lot of RAM. So I did that and now coming into this game, I have like 5.18. And I only have 5.18 instead of 5.20 something because I stored the first game on the hard drive. So I know everybody out there is loving these stories because, hey, I mean, maybe you can use it if you want to do your own channel with your own game if you don't do that already. I'm sure it's the type of issue that guys who do do that already have run into. And did Abreu hit at this? No, another double. I mean, you know, I don't want to act like I'm upset that he hit a double, but. And that's going to be a single from Mazzara. But I'm going to send him 75%. I'm going to send him. I'm going to hold the trailing runner, and he does make it. So we take the lead 2-1, to one, and uh, ground ball away by Grand Dahl. So anyway, uh, the long story short is that I'm going to have to get 
Um, I'm going to have to take the computer to the geeks or something and try to figure out, uh, let them try to figure out how I can get more RAM on my computer. Villoria strikes out, so there's two down because, uh, you know, we got to do that. I need more RAM. It's especially problematic, though, for the football games. Gets away, single plus error. We got a runner at second. Uh, of course, it's Lopez. And uh, Merrifield is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second, and that's Garcia. Hopefully, he makes the play this time, and he does. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's problematic more so with the football games that I telecast because the football game, I only have enough to do one half because the games take, the football games take longer. Garcia at second, Cuthbert up. I'm going to try to sacrifice. I don't even do this very often. I don't even like to do it. And he got the lead runner, so yeah, that's why. So let me try to steal a base at 95%. Nope, can't even do that. So that's why I don't do that, okay? It's not a good idea. Just not. So there's two down with a runner at first. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And he hits a ground ball at third. That's a Franco. He's a four. Can he throw it away? He can't. Um, so anyway, that causes a problem with the football game because then I have to stop after halftime. I have to try to get out of screencast o matic but yet stay in the football game and hope that the computer doesn't do something weird with the football game like... It can't keep it up or something. Because if that happens here between games, it doesn't matter. Because I already played the first game. Dozier up. And he's going to hit a foul up. And now that I've completely bored you to death with my story of a lack of RAM on my computer, I will leave it alone from this point on. So, Encanarcion up in the bottom of the sixth and we're leading two to one and can that be a home run for Encarnacion please or a double it's a double I'm never getting the home runs on those two for two with two doubles is Abreu and then he singles so he's a three for three perfect on the day I'm gonna hold Encarnacion though because we got no outs and Mazzara up and you would think he could at least hit a fly ball they bring in Kevin McCarthy. He strikes out Mazzara. Grandall up. Oh, come on, fly ball. I need a fly ball. No, he gets a ground ball. A. Thank you. So we're still only leading 2-1. And that's going to be a fly ball for O'Hearn. Kansas City here in the top of the seventh. Franco up. Franco is out. And that brings up Gordon. And Gordon's going to hit a fly ball. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. Garcia up. And Garcia is out. Cuthbert up. And Cuthbert hits a fly ball to right. That's Dozier. He's not very good defensively. And he drops it. Nice. Man on first. One out. And they're going to go to the bullpen again. And they bring in Newberry to pitch to Anderson. Who hits a oh, do run home run. Nice. So I'm definitely going defensive replacements here in the bottom of the, uh, or in the top of the inning. We are also going to stick with Giolito as long as we can. Just like I did with Keuchel in game one. That's going to be a strikeout for Robert. Two down. And Jimenez up. And he is going to be out. So, Giolito. Yeah, I'm going to let him go with at least the eighth. And he strikes out Valoria. That brings up Nicky Lopez. And he's going to be out. Finally. 
one for one with a walk on the day. And Merrifield is out. Flying out. So, this is nice. Maybe we can get a sweep of Kansas City. That would be awesome. So, yeah, they said Giolito was tied. I think they got a, like, strat rule in the computer. That pitchers can't go a uh, complete game, no matter what. Abreu's three for three with two doubles today. And he is going to be four for four with two doubles and two singles. Mazzara up. And Mazzara hitting into a double play. Uh, I am going to go to the bullpen. No, I mean, not the bullpen. I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to some defensive replacements, though. We're going to put in... Uh, Madrigal at second, and Angle this time in left. But we're going to keep uh, the dude out there, and that's going to be a hit. Because he was tired. But I got a four to one lead. Yeah, I got a three run lead. So Solaire is up. And Solaire hits the ground ball to Timmy A. 6-4-3 double play. Nice. Two down and Dozier up. And that's going to be another hit because he's tired again. And O'Hearn up at the plate. And that's going to be a ground ball to first. Let's play it, Abreu. Play it. And he boots the ball. I'm still keeping him out there, though. Franco up at the plate, and he strikes out. So, Giolito does get out of it. And we do win the game with him only allowing one run. And that's going to be it. Game two, but we got game three coming right up. So, just sit right there and wait. And here we are. We're back for game three. Kansas City at Chicago, and this game is going to be Mike Montgomery against Ronaldo Lopez. And we got play day in, so we can get the other games out of the way. Now we got our game. So let's get this party started. We got Merrifield leading off, top of the first, as usual in the other two games. Same deal, and he hits a fly ball to. <coughs> Luis Robert, and that's it. He's out, and Mondesi is up. Mondesi's going to hit a ground ball to Abreu. There's two down for Kansas City quickly, and now Solaire is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball X to Moncada, who will hopefully make the play, but no, he drops it. So... We got Solaire on, on base with Dozier up, and Dozier's going to hit a line out. So. <clears throat> they go pretty quickly there, except for an error by Moncada. And then Anderson, and Timmy Anderson, leads us off with a single. And Lewis Robert up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. Moncada strikes out. Two down. Timmy still aboard. And Abreu up. Abreu had a great game last game, but now he hits into a double play. Or not really a double play because there was already two outs. So we've got uh, Perez up, and it looks like he is going to have a double. <laughs> so. That brings up Brian O'Hearn with with uh, Perez at second base, and he's going to move him over to third. So we got one away with Alex Gordon up, and he hits a fly ball left field. Let's see if it's deep enough. It probably is, it looks like, and it is. So Kansas City does strike first, and Nicky Lopez gets out. So that's going to be the end of the threat in the second from Kansas City, but they uh, they do strike for a run. So Grandall is leading us out in the bottom of the second. And he hits a double. Nice. Ripping the double. 
Jimenez. And he walks. All right, I'll take that. <coughs> it would have been better, but, you know, you can ask for everything. And then, of course, Madrigal has to hit in a double play. That'll move Grandal to third, but now there's two away. And so we need a hit, and we did not get it from Mazzara. So we're out of the inning. Still only one nothing, and then Kay Gutierrez. I don't even know who Kay Gutierrez is, but whoever he is, he just flew out. Merrifield is up, and he's going to fly out. Merrifield is really kind of surprisingly bad, or has been in this series. And Mondesi is up. At least that's been my impression. Maybe I'm wrong. So they go pretty quickly there. We go to the bottom of the third. Lori Garcia up. And he singles. All right. It's a nice start. Timmy Anderson. Come on, Tim. No, he hits a ground ball to the pitcher. Maybe there can be an error on that. No. But he did move Garcia over to second. And then Lewis Robert is going to hit a two-run jack and put us in first. No. We're not going to first place anytime soon. But we are going to go ahead of Kansas City. And, I mean, in the standings, we're already ahead of Kansas City, but we're ahead of them now in this game. Moncada's up, and he doubles. Sweet. So we got one down, Moncada at second, and Abreu up. And Abreu hits a fly ball, so now, you know, the hit parade is coming to an end. And up steps the Grand Doll, who doubled last time and strikes out this time. But we did take the lead. We're ahead 2 nothing or 2-1, to one, with Solaire up on the top of the fourth, and he walks. Dozier up. And Dozier is going to hit a two-run homer and put Kansas City back on top, 3-2. See, this is why you didn't want that hit parade to end. <laughs> so, uh, Perez is up and he strikes out. Salvador Perez gone on strikes. O'Hearn up. And O'Hearn is out. Lines out. And up steps Gordon. And Gordon strikes out. So they go pretty harmlessly there. Not really. They hit a two-run home run. So they are ahead, three to two. I'm swinging away with Jimenez, and he strikes out. Madrigal's up, and he singles. Gotta love that. Mazzara at the plate. Mazzara is going to hit a two-run home run and put us back in front. So now we're in front 4 3. It's like a kind of like a tennis game. And that brings up Garcia. And Garcia is going to hit a home run and put us up 5 to 4. Or 5 to 3. 5 to 3. So Montgomery is getting his butt handed to him here in game three. And Tim Anderson up, and that's going to be it for Montgomery. They bring in Peralta. And then and, uh, he gets Anderson out. <coughs> so I guess... Um, oh, but now Peralta's injured. He has to sit out of the game. So we'll see who they... Uh, yeah, they go. They come up with Newberry. Who pitched last game, I believe. So... You know, Mike Bethini's got to hate this, this turn of events. So we're ahead 5-3. Nicky Lopez at the plate against Ronaldo Lopez, who I doubt, as with the other two guys who went complete games for us in games one and two. And by the way, that means I've got a very uh, rested bullpen. But I doubt Lopez is going to be able to make it the entire game. And Merrifield, he gets something there. He's got a single, ripping a single. And now up steps Mondesi. And Mondesi is going to be lining up. 
So that's it for them there. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still got a two-run lead, we do. Moncada, I would love to sweep Kansas City, I got to say. And what happens there? We're out. Abreu up. And Abreu with a single. Nice. First hit of this game for Abreu. Grandall up. And Grandall hitting into a double play. So, we don't get any more there. And now we're in the top of the sixth. And Soler is out. Yep. Dozier is up. Dozier is going to hit a ground ball short. X, and that's going to test Timmy. And that's an error, so. He's aboard with uh, Perez flying out. Perez <laughs> with a double this game. But in the series, really, overall, I, he hasn't struck me as doing very well either. Really, none of these guys have done that well because really my starting pitching has been able to pitch most of uh, all of the games. And was that an out? Nice. Nice. So, bottom of the sixth. We still got the two-run lead. Jimenez leading off. Striking out. Nick Madrigal up. And he's going to walk. So, we got Madrigal aboard with one down. Mazzara up. Already has a home run. And he walks. So, that's two on. <coughs> with one down. And Garcia, who's two for two on the day, strikes out, ruining his day. And Timmy Anderson is going to line out. So we get no more there. We go to the top of the seventh. Lopez still dealing out there, striking out Gordon. Nicky Lopez, his brother, no, it's not really his brother, gets a single. Of course he does. K. Gutierrez is up, but they're going to pinch hit for him with Bubba Starling, and he strikes out. Man, this has been, uh, this is like Lopez is one of his best games. And that's going to be a line out for Mara. And Lopez is tired, and with him, I am going to bring in relief. But anyway, right now, Robert is up. And he hits a fly ball. I mean, unless I score like eight runs here. But if that doesn't happen, one down, Moncada up. He strikes out. And Abreu is up. And he's out. So I will be bringing in relief. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm not even, <coughs> it's not even a thought for me to not bring relief in. So we are going to bring in, I'm going to say, not Ruiz, because he's horrible. We're going to bring in Bummer. And we are also going to, okay, Madrigal's already, oh, Madrigal's at DH? Dang. All right, we're going to bring in Mendick and put him at second because he's still better than Garcia defensively. And we're going to put Engel in left field for Jimenez. So Bummer is dealing. There's a fly ball to center to Robert. Hopefully he'll catch it. He's got it. So Lair is up. Solaire is out. That's two down here in the Kansas City 8th. And Dozier strikes out. So we maintain our two-run lead. Five to three. Grandall up against a tired McCarthy. And he singles. And for some reason, I'm going to keep him out there. <laughs> Angle up. Angle singles. Uh, I'm going to hold them because it's only 40% chance. We got Madrigal out. And Madrigal is going to line out. So that's one away. 
Mazzara is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a ground ball B. That'll move runners to the corners with two down. And Mendick up. And Mendick singles in a run. Defensive replacement, but helping out at the plate. Kim Anderson up. And he's going to line out. So I don't know why they kept the tired McCarthy out there. Maybe they got no other pitchers they can refer to. But anyway, Salvador Perez is up against Bummer. Hit by pitch and inch. But he's all right. That brings up O'Hearn. O'Hearn strikes out. Gordon up. Gordon's hit by pitch. So Bummer's out there just plunking people. Nicky Lopez up. And Nicky Lopez hits into a double play to end the game. So that's what you got right there. Uh, it's a sweep for us of the Kansas City Royals. And uh, that's that's sweetness. And that's going to be also be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Signing off.